And welcome to TIA's Connectivity Jam right here in Dallas, Texas. We're talking with uh, Paul Scardino. He's Senior Vice President of Sales Engineering and Marketing at Globecom. And Paul, welcome to the program. Thank you, Abe. Well, thanks for being here. I want to really talk about some of the interesting things that Globecom is doing as far as IoT applications, uh, as far as uh, the smart transportation spa space and the maritime space as well. I know the, uh, there's a case study uh, that you have prepared, not for this segment uh, specifically, uh, but for the company going forward. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, let me get into a little bit about Globecom in general. Um, we are a managed communications service provider as well as systems integrators. So we have uh, satellite systems worldwide, all connected by high-speed fiber, which are all connected to main internet points of presence all over the world. So ultimately, we can move content from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world, and or build out a network for someone to operate and connect to our network. Um, so the case study we were talking about it was a maritime case study. Uh, the customer wanted to monitor the refrigerated sea containers that they were transporting all over the world. And these sea containers that could be transporting something like bananas. And <clears throat> they had an issue where the bananas would arrive to port and perhaps they would be rotten. They would have higher insurance res uh, premiums as a result of that because they had no way of proving that those sea containers remained refrigerated. Um, what we did was we provided an Internet of Things network that provided those sea containers with complete connectivity, ubiquitous connectivity globally. So all of the sea containers have GSM M2M devices on them. On all of the ships, we deployed cellular base stations. So all the sea containers are communicating with those base stations. And then in turn, to when those sea containers are at sea, they have to communicate with our network, so there's a satellite system, both a broadband higher frequency satellite system in the KU band frequency, as well as a more narrow band L band system, which would be narrow band throughput um, as a failover. So it would remain always connected that their network. Um, with that, the customer was able to lower their insurance premiums because they were able to allow their end customers to look into our portal evaluate all of their sea containers, ensure that their refrigeration was correct, and hence show them, look, you're, you're always connected, your, sea, your produce or your groceries that are in that uh, sea container are always stabilized, and therefore it's not our fault, perhaps you ship them too late or something like that, but in order to, in order to show that uh, those sea containers were always connected, that were always refrigerated, it allowed them to reduce their premiums uh, on their insurance immensely. The other benefit it had, uh, or the other benefit we provided on the network, was a system that allowed the customer to evaluate the routings of the ship throughout the global sea lanes and monitor the tides, monitor the schedule that the ship is supposed to be arriving in port, and adjust the engine um, frequency to use less fuel. Again, saving them money. Now, uh, core competencies of Globecom are tracking, monitoring, and control. So just for maybe the few viewers out there that are not entirely clear on what the control part is, can you describe that to us? Maybe through the case study you just gave? The tracking and monitoring Absolutely. I get, the control I'm not clear Absolutely. on. Absolutely. So, w with the connectivity, it allows you to always have control of those assets because you can dial into, or our, the customers can dial into our portal and be connected over satellite to, to that base station that's on the ship, in turn being connected to these assets. As if you were in a cellular network that were connected to that base station. And then whatever controls that those uh, systems had on them, you can control it remotely through our portal. Now, I'm glad you brought up uh, cellular. So cell cellular and TV towers, you also monitor and track uh, really the radio systems and really the, even the physical structure as well. Uh, right. Can you tell us, uh, maybe if not a case study, tell us about that as well. So you've got these towers that are used to transport, for example, um, video throughout a country. Now these towers are going through very rural areas and if it's a TV tower, for example, over a cellular tower, there is no cellular connectivity. So with that, you need satellite connectivity to be able to remotely control those towers. Now those towers have assets that the customer values, obviously, they, they want to make sure that the system is staying intact, so the, the radios that are transmitting the video 
are being monitored, as well as, like you said, the, the assets that are on the ground, the power systems, even, even down to the door of the, of the shelter that's there, um, where, the, where the assets are located and, and being monitored. That could be controlled and monitored remotely. Paul, I wish we had more time, but I appreciate you letting our members know about Globecom and some, some of the work that you guys are doing. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, appreciate Paul. Appreciate it.